Have you ever wondered what's locked away in Earth's icy vaults? From the chilly steppes of Siberia to the frozen wastelands of Antarctica, ice has acted as a natural preservation chamber for ancient artifacts, mysterious beings, and even microorganisms that defy biology as we know it. Today, we delve into 10 fascinating discoveries found frozen in ice, revealing secrets about ancient civilizations, prehistoric creatures, and life in extreme conditions. From the Copper Age, Itzy Man, to Scythian gold and even Antarctic microbes, get ready to chill out as we unearth the past and ponder the future, frozen in time. In 1991, two German hikers stumbled upon something absolutely chilling, literally. Meet Utzi the Iceman, a well-preserved natural mummy dating back to around 3300 BCE. Located in the Alps between Austria and Italy, this mummified human has opened up a new chapter in our understanding of Copper Age Europeans. But here's where things get intriguing. Utzi didn't just die, he was murdered. An arrowhead lodged in his shoulder coupled with other injuries indicate that his end was far from peaceful. And it wasn't just the weapons that were fascinating. His attire and belongings were equally eye-opening. From a copper axe to a flint-bladed dagger and even a quiver of arrows, Utzi was equipped for survival. Scientists even found traces of medicinal plants suggesting an early form of healthcare or perhaps a rudimentary understanding of herbal medicine. And what about his last meal? An analysis of his stomach contents revealed that he ate a hearty diet of grains and meat. The implications of this are vast it suggests a complex society where hunting and agriculture coexisted. It's like peering through a frosty window into a day in the life of someone who lived over 5,000 years ago. Now, if we think a human mummy is fascinating, let's talk about something that's truly gigantic. Woolly mammoths, the colossal cousins of our modern elephants, were found frozen in the Siberian permafrost. But what's astonishing is the state of preservation. We're talking about still having fur, skin and even trunk intact. This isn't just paleontology, it's a prehistoric crime scene. Scientists have been able to conduct thorough autopsies, examining the contents of their stomachs and even analyzing their blood. Yes, blood from an animal that roamed the earth tens of thousands of years ago. And the findings are fascinating. They ate a diet rich in buttercups, hinting at the vegetation that once covered the frigid plains of ancient Siberia. These discoveries aren't just giving us glimpses into the past, they are fueling a modern-day debate about de-extinction. That's right, should we use this well-preserved DNA to bring the woolly mammoth back to life? The ethical and ecological questions are profound. Can or should extinct species be resurrected if human technology permits? The frozen carcasses of Siberian mammoths may very well hold the answer. The Otzi and the woolly mammoths serve as two compelling windows into worlds long gone, allowing us to touch, feel, and study our prehistoric past. It's as if the ice acts as a natural time capsule, locking away secrets just waiting for us to discover. And as we unearth these icy relics, we're reminded of our ever-evolving quest to understand our world and its history. Let's zoom out, way out, from the Earth and the Ice Age to the frigid void of outer space. We're talking about meteorites from beyond our planet, found frozen in the ice of Antarctica. Now don't get too excited. These aren't alien artifacts or spacecraft remnants. These are chunks of cosmic debris that have survived the fiery plunge through Earth's atmosphere and come to rest in the world's most remote freezer. The Antarctic ice sheet acts like a conveyor belt for these celestial objects. As meteorites crash land on the ice, they get embedded in the surface. Over time, they're transported by the flow of the glacier to regions where they become more accessible. Why is this important? Well, these frozen meteorites are like messages in a bottle from different corners of the solar system. Some even contain precellar grains, tiny bits older than our own sun. Finding meteorites in Antarctica is like a treasure hunt for scientists, providing them with invaluable materials for cosmic research. These extraterrestrial rocks have been teaching us about the composition of asteroids, moons, and even Mars. Talk about a long-distance education. All right, let's steer the conversation back towards Earth, but keep it ice cold. Imagine setting sail to discover the Northwest Passage, that elusive route through the Arctic Ocean, but instead finding your destiny sealed in a tomb of ice. That's the grim tale of the Franklin Expedition, Led by Sir John Franklin in 1845, this British voyage aimed to traverse the last unnavigated sections of the Arctic, but it went horribly wrong. 
Two ships, the HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, ominous names right, were caught in the ice and the crew were stranded. Despite a state-of-the-art ship design and provisions that included canned foods, a novelty back then, the expedition met a harrowing end. All 129 men perished and the ships vanished into the icy depths, only to be rediscovered over 150 years later. It's an eerie time capsule of mid-19th century naval life. Items found on the ship, frozen in time, include utensils, logbooks, and even the remains of some of the crew. These artifacts serve as a haunting reminder of the human cost of exploration, the perils that come with venturing into the unknown. Picture this, an ancient hunter prowls the icy landscape, eyes keen, bow in hand. This isn't a scene from a historical drama, it's real life, or it was around 5,000 years ago. In 2014, glacial archaeologists made a mind-blowing discovery in Norway's high mountains, an exceptionally well-preserved bow and arrows from the Neolithic era. Why is this cool? No pun intended. Well, you see, organic material like wood rarely survives the ravages of time. But thanks to Norway's icy conditions, the bow and arrows were nearly as good as the day they were crafted. The weaponry not only provides a look into ancient hunting practices, but also into the skill and knowledge that existed back then. Studies on the bow's construction have revealed a level of craftsmanship that is, frankly, astonishing. It's not just a primitive stick and string, it's a finely tuned instrument built for survival. The Vikings. When you think of them, what comes to mind? Longships, helmets, and of course, weapons. You might picture them as rugged warriors of the past, but recent discoveries are making them feel much closer. In 2020, archaeologists digging in frozen lands once roamed by these Nordic adventurers uncovered a cache of Viking weapons. What's remarkable about these artifacts is their state of preservation, still deadly after all these years. Swords, shields and even battle axes frozen in time but sharp enough to tell tales of valiant raids and epic sea journeys. These icy conditions acted like a vault, locking away the Vikings' tools of the trade until we were ready to appreciate them, and appreciate it as they give us a nuanced look into the Viking culture that goes beyond the stereotypes of barbaric invaders. These were people with skills in metallurgy, art, and navigation, not just pillaging. But what if I told you that frozen relics can also offer us a glimpse into the world before humans? In 2017, researchers made a remarkable discovery in Canada. A forest frozen in time, encapsulated in glacial ice for thousands of years. These aren't just twigs and leaves. We're talking about entire trees, roots and all, preserved as if in a gigantic freezer. The word forest might evoke thoughts of lush, green landscapes, but this ancient ecosystem gives us an unparalleled look at life from a time when mastodons and saber-toothed tigers roamed the earth. What's particularly exciting is the diversity of species found in these icy deposits. Some of these plants and trees have no known living relatives. So this ancient frozen forest could not only reveal new species, but also shed light on climate and environmental conditions from millennia ago. How did these ecosystems function? What led to their downfall? The answers are frozen in time, waiting for us to thaw them out and delve into the mysteries they hold. And now let's pivot to something a bit more modern, but still equally mysterious. The airplane glacier. Imagine it's World War II. Aircraft are an indispensable part of military strategy, but they also carry the inherent risk of going missing. In Greenland, a US World War II um, was recently discovered, preserved in ice like a prehistoric insect in amber, nicknamed the Airplane Glacier. This site has become a focal point for historians and archaeologists alike. The plane seems to be almost perfectly preserved, a moment frozen in the chaos of war. Even personal items of the crew, like boots, jackets and makeshift tools, were found on board. These artifacts offer an incredibly intimate look into the lives and final moments of the people on that fateful flight. But beyond the human story, the airplane glacier serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers lurking in the often unpredictable environment of our planet. The forces that preserved this plane also kept it hidden for nearly 80 years. But wait, there's more. How about a story that combines the chilly embrace of ice with the warm luster of gold? Enter the frozen tombs of Siberia, where Scythian gold artifacts have been unearthed in pristine condition. The Scythians, a nomadic people, roamed the steppes of Central Asia over 2,000 years ago. 
Known for their intricate gold work, they left no written records, which means much of what we know about them is gleaned from their surviving artifacts. Frozen for centuries, these tombs are a time capsule of wealth and ritual. We find ornate jewelry, weapons plated in gold, and even tattoos remarkably well preserved on mummified skin. This begs questions about craftsmanship and trade in an age when we assume things were more primitive. How did they source this much gold? What technologies did they use for such fine detailing? The icy preservation of these tombs allows archaeologists to study the Scythians' life and art with an unprecedented level of detail. We've talked about mammoths and men, but let's scale down a bit, way down to the microscopic level. The inhospitable climes of Antarctica are home to something unexpected, life. That's right, in one of the Earth's most extreme environments, scientists have discovered microbial life forms. These aren't your garden variety microbes, these are extremophiles, living organisms that exist in conditions once thought to be uninhabitable for life. For biologists, the existence of these microbes could have huge implications, not just for understanding the resilience of life on Earth, but also for the search for life elsewhere in the universe. If life can exist in the icy extremes of Antarctica, what does that mean for places like Mars or Europa, Jupiter's icy moon? The frozen lakes and ice sheets where these microbes are found may serve as earthly analogues for extraterrestrial environments. This opens a plethora of questions about the possibilities of life beyond our planet. And as always, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.